code optimization what is code optimization as to change this slide code optimization uh, it is a program uh, transformation technique which tries to improve the code by making it consume less resources that is cpu memory and deliver high speed uh, the code uh, the code output must not in any way change the meaning of program uh, optimization should increase the speed of the program and if possible uh, the program should demand less number of resources uh, optimization should itself be fast and should not delay the overall compiling process uh, two types of optimization uh, first one is machine independent optimization and the second one is machine dependent optimization so what is machine independent optimization uh, in this optimization the compiler tasks in the intermediate code and transform a part of the code that does not involve any cpu registers and absolute memory location uh, for example we have a code uh, in this code uh, do while loop is running and value is less than 100 and the item uh, is assigned to an integer value and uh, it is uh, value is incre uh, incremented as according uh, the do while loop uh, in this code uh, involves repeated assignment of the identifier item uh, which if we put this way like uh, if we assign item initially to the 10 and then we run will uh, do while loop so in this way uh, uh, we should not any save the cpu cycle but can be used on any processor dependent optimization it is done after the target has been generated and when the code is transformed according to the target machine architecture it involves say, cpu registers and may have absolute memory reference rather than relative reference machine dependent optimization put efforts to make take maximum advantage of memory hierarchy. Basic blocks, the basic blocks do not have any jump statements among them. A program can have various constructs as basic blocks like if then else, switch case conditional statements and loops such as do while for. Uh, application of basic blocks plays an important role in identifying variables which are being used more than once in a single block. If any variable is being used more than once, the register memory allocated to that variable need to be emptied unless the block finishes the execution. Uh, so now uh, we are talking about the loop optimization. Uh, loop uh, optimization is uh, one of the type of independent uh, optimization uh, in which uh, the uh, speed of the execution uh, gets enhanced uh, and uh, it can help in the parallel functioning of the system. Uh, uh, loop uh, optimization plays an important role in improving the cache uh, performance and making effective use of parallel processing capabilities. So in this slide, sir, we will discuss about the partial redundancy. So what is it? An expression is called partially redundant if the value computed by the expression is already available on some but not all the paths through a program to the expression. An expression is fully redundant if the value computed by the expression is available on all paths through the program to that expression. Partially redundant expression can eliminate partially redundant expression by inserting the partially redundant expression on paths of that do not already compute it, thereby making it partially redundant expression fully redundant. So now we will see some example. So in this slide if you see the value of a equal to y some operation on z inside the if condition okay and if you see the value of c here we also see the same thing is re repeated y operation on the z so the value is already calculated inside the if so here the value of c is redundant and on the next code the value of pmp variable inside the if condition is why some operation on the z and if you see carefully same is repeated on the else block that is temp is equal to y some operation the z so here inside the else block temp variable this value is redundant and same goes for the value of a inside the if condition and the value of c outside the code 
so both is equal to tmp so value of a equal to tmp is okay but the value that we have here c equal to tmp is redundant now let us come to see some gate level questions on the topic of code optimization the first question is some code optimizations are carried out on the intermediate code because the four options are given and the that is visible to you all and the correct option is answer a that is they enhance the portability of the compiler to other target processors now let us come to see the explanation of this question next slide please yes so in this question option b is also true but the main purpose of doing some code optimization on intermediate code generation is to enhance the portability of the compiler to target processors so option a is more suitable here more moreover intermediate code is a machine or architecture independent code so a compiler can optimize it without worrying about the architecture on which the code is going to execute second next slide please now here we move on to the second question which is which of the following describes a handle as applicable to allow passing appropriately the four options are given which is visible and the correct option is it is the production p that will be used for the reduction in the next step along with a position in the sentential form where the right hand side of the production may be found now let us come to see the explanation of this question the correct explanation is the l in l passing l stands for left to right screening of input string and r stands for right most derivation in reverse because it is about bottom up pass now let us come to see the third question which of the following are decidable the four options are given and the correct option is option b that is 1 and 4 whether the intersection of two regular language is infinite and the four one whenever whether a given grammar is context free now let us come to see the explanation of this question next slide please so deciding deciding regularity of a context free language is undecidable we check if l of cfg contains any string with the length between n and 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 where n is pumping lemma constant if so l of cfg is infinite otherwise it is finite now let us move on to the fourth question yes the fourth and the last question is grammar of the programming is checked at dash phase of the compiler the four options are given and the correct option is option a that is syntax analysis thank you this was all from thank you thank very you good very, very good presentation thank you i think you, we all have to come face to